What is going on guys, it's Ryan from Saints here and welcome to the new series that will be going on quite a while hopefully. Starting from the bottom, I wasn't going to steal Lelujo's non-league to legend shtick, but let's make my face a bit bigger. <laughs> and actually, now I'm going to remember this. Shouldn't be doing this in a video, but I'm going to do it. Move it to the bottom. I'll be smart. But we are, as shown in the last episode of the Sheffield Wednesday series the beta series um we are going to be going with eastbourne i do have a logo pack now it's all good i've got the real name fixes on um i'm just waiting until i get paid and where and i haven't done that yet <laughs> on where i can then uh get face packs and the kit packs because you have to all the people I've, I've gone to that you've got to donate and I don't have any money in the bank at the moment, so, you know, I'll get into the tactics and everything. But right now, let's get into the vision. So, it's literally work within the wage budget, avoid relegation, get to the fourth qualifying round, and reach the first round of the FA Trophy, which you instantly go into. So, we're not going to get fired straight away. We're happy with that. Absolutely happy. And expectations. Oh, boy. I'm going to stick with that for now, and then obviously got all, the, all of the introductions. So once I've done all of that, about to get into the first game, okay, it's going to be a friendly today, but once we're in there, if any transfers happen or anything, I will definitely show you and where we need to improve the team. So I will be right back. And guys, we are back for the inter-team friendly of obviously Eastbourne versus Eastbourne second 15, which is the under 18s. We're gonna go with I've not even looked at the names yet properly, so let's have a laugh. So Ravizoli, Ravizoli, Welpdale, James, Dickinson, Vaughan, Gale, Ferry, Flarin, Rollinson, Cox, and Lua. Gonna go with it. Gonna pump the fist, get that guy motivated. So this is just <laughs> just gonna see how I hate that it does this. Please can this just save? Have I made that too fast now? I've made that too fast now. God damn it. There we go. So hopefully <clears throat> this tactic does work out. We really do need to strengthen the midfield and the defence, mainly on the left-hand side. But both teams are going to be using the same, obviously, they're going to be using the same formation. So hopefully, we can see where the flaws are against a weak team. Whilst also seeing how we would break down a weak team. Maybe I should have done this first 11 versus second 11 instead of the under-18s. However... I want to get to see how the first team operates as a collective unit. So that's how we're going to start this off. And then we're going to go to the very last friendly or close to, depending on what time it gets to, because uh, I don't know where I put my phone. <laughs> I can just quickly check, uh, because it is quarter past 12 at night. So... You know, oh, they've changed the animations there, that's nice. But that is the first goal, and that is by Stephen James, who is a defender from free kicks. So, free kicks seem to be half decent. Alright, well, it's just Lua now running. It's also, if I'm very quiet, I am very sorry, but I need to get this recorded. <laughs> oh, it's intercepted by Dixon, who just launches it over again to Lua, who tries to. Shoot there, it doesn't get anything. Perry shoots and Benham. Benham? Benham. Yeah, we'll go Benham. Tips it over and that's crossed in and it's cleared out. And Vaughan with a good tackle there. I'm also looking at the youngsters to see who's uh, going to be showing up. 
Well, with a very Rollinson out to Welpdale. He's going to cross it. He's going to cross it. That's him for Cox. He heads it down to Gale. He gives it to Fulane. Did I say Fulane? Flor Flaren. Flaren. I'm going to say that in an American accent. Flaren. Just because otherwise I'm going to be stuttering on that all day. Now, Lua intercepts it from a throw in. Gives it to Flaren. <laughs> gives it to Cox. He gives it to Vaughn. You guys can tell I'm tired. And then go to Florarin again to Lua, who just doesn't do anything. And Rollins tries to get a shot there, but doesn't go anywhere near it. And so now we've got Blackmore, one of our youth players. To Grice, new. His name is genuinely new. I hope that's a regen. Because if he's new, it's fitting because this is a new game. <laughs> oh dear. Now we've got Rollinson. Keeps it in play. Nicely done. Not flaring. Gives it out to Cox. Who cuts in. That's nice. Gives it to Lua. Who just heads it straight down to Benham. Which wasn't the best. James now to Dickinson. Launches over the top and Lua is able to get there and just manages to toe poke it through. Some dead ball situations we've seen good at, which is decent. Looking at stats, we're not actually beating them by as much as what I'd hope based on XG. Now do I drop praise? Nah. It is too early for praise. It's the first half of the very first game of the se well preseason. So, you know, Rollinson gives it to Gale, gives it to Welpdale, to Florin, gives it to Cox, Lure again, gets past his man, takes a shot, but it's blocked and it's out. And this is why you have a cup of tea. So you don't end up yawning. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, okay. Um, they're complacent right now, so. Alright, so if we say, oh, they're still complacent. <sighs> well, it's a good thing that I want to get a look at a goalkeeper. Oh, they've changed the colours. Okay, let's take him off then. Oh, his silvers. Oh, dear, we are in trouble. Lauren off, and then we bring on. We have two strikers. Alright, so here's that, and here's that. Looks like we are bringing on Walker. And then. The. And that's what we'll bring on for now. So we've got we've got to test everybody out in the waters on this. We've got to see what how everyone performs. Obviously, I'll give it to like seventy five minutes, and I'll bring the other ones, and whoever's played worse out of the people that I've brought on, then obviously I'm gonna. Okay, just come straight through there. <laughs> then obviously I'll take them off and bring on the newbies. Um. So I want to give him a fair amount of game time, but I don't want to give him too much game time. Is 15 minutes enough? I'm not too sure, but in there for Walker and heads it straight at Benham again. Benham looks like a good goalkeeper. Cox whips the ball in. What the fuck was that? Alright, now I think it's safe. To bring him on. And Hammer just playing the worst. And Torres. Hello. I selected best 11. And he wasn't put on. So. I don't know what that's about. Oh. Okay. What else have they changed? 
Okay, so that now pauses it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you can now do that. It's good to know. That's a new feature. Right now we've got left bridge. Gets tackled by Grabata. And Brazil. So left change their keeper as well. We've got an entire country in goal right now. Colwell with a good tackle there. Gives it to left bridge. Gives it back to Colwell. Grabata can't do anything. But Vaughan manages to intercept. It goes to Blackmore though. Togwell gets it and gives it into Overton. Who scores? Hmm. Okay. That's a nice whipped in cross block there by Webdale. Cox now crosses it back in again, gives it to Rollinson, who can't do anything with it. But Webdale now gives it back to Rollinson, then creating a good partnership there. And that's him for Lambert, and Lambert shoots, and it gets saved, but Walden knocks it out for a corner, which I believe this is going to be Cox. Cox does, gives it back to Rollinson. Rollinson passes it back out to Cox, who's then going to hopefully cross it back in. Torres can't get to it, and it's out for a throw-in. So, let's just have a look here. Yeah, we're not doing that bad. So, the tactic's not bad defensively. Both against a really bad defence and a really and well, and compared to the defence we've got for the under 18s, it's not what well, not bad defences at all. So can't complain. So Rollinson now gives it to Welkdale, who hopefully crosses it in. No, he passes it to Gravata, who gives it into Torres, who shoots and scores. You're gonna be my ball winning mid ball, my box to box midfielder, mate. So overall, this isn't actually looking that bad. So Torres now sends it back to Lambert, who gets tackled. Togwell gives it to Colwell. Bristow, Blackmore, over the top. James intercepts it, gives it to Gravato, who gives it to Gale, who has it intercepted. But now it's now with Benham. Where's Benham? Pretty sure he played in goal. I am pretty sure he just played in goal. Okay. Well, let's tell them that, that was a good job. Um, I'm really sure that that Benham guy just played in goal. Oh, maybe not. We've got the Benham brothers here. We've got Daryl Benham in there. Yeah, we've got the Benham brothers. Hey, look at that. But, guys, before I actually end up calling it a night, I'm probably... Going to show you the Worthing game and then, yeah, I'll come back for the, for the Worthing game. So, guys, I shall see you in a second. Hi, guys, I am back. I completely just got engrossed in this and end up playing the Worthing friendly without. Recording it, but we've had a decent preseason, a good 4 0 win there. We drew against Royston, which isn't good enough, but then I made a couple of times to beat the Ipswich 143s, and we also beat Worthing 1 0. Um, I'm going to show you the second qualifying round of the FA Cup, but if we go to our transfers, 
we've had a couple of people go out. We've got uh, White, his gone. Actually, these were already gone. These three, they were already gone. And they all went to the same club. Um, but Campbell, his gone. Could have actually have used his pace, really. I will give him a scout again. But, you know, uh, Wills, he left. Um, probably would have got rid of him anyway. Even though he was a bit, bit of a journeyman through the Eastbourne ranks there. Uh, Pearson and Hammond both also went for Salisbury. Pearson is what what one and one star, and so is Hammond. So haven't really lost too much there. However, we have got signings, which were the ones that I started. So these are my signings here. These are all what people who have just came in uh, pre me joining them. Obviously, because Vaughan played, Glover played. Bobdale played, Rollinson played, Dickerson and Lambert all played in the first game that you saw against the under 18s. But we brought in Joe um, Watton. Yes, okay, he is one star, but he has four and a half star potential. 16 determination, he's going to grow pretty quick. And he can play anywhere in the midfield, which is amazing. It's very useful to have. We've also got Paris, who's came in, who can play. In the areas where we needed a strength, five star potential, which well potential for five star, but definitely four star potential, which is decent. Again, again, I don't like the determination, but work rate's hard, which is very good. Reject of Crystal Palace. I don't want to say reject because he he didn't make the grade. Let's go with that. But um, six point eight. On the on his form, he's got one assist already in in the couple of games since I've signed him. He's 18 years old. He is going to improve, and he's already two star, which is decent. Then we've got Joe Anderson, left back, very good potential, and he's been around a bit, but he has League Two experience. He's also quite well known in the non-leagues which is always good and what's that he's, he's at his ability he's in his prime good determination there work rate is not the best but he's his physicals are good what I need him for are good so it was a big improvement which we needed also signed James Bailey Green who was on a, an actual Contract four hundred pound a week, five star potential, three and a half star current ability. Again, he is good, decent determination. Work rate's okay, but didn't make the grade at Southampton, and I believe that looks like he had an in, he had an entire season off. But this will be his professional debut, and then we've got. Mikel Parker here, three and a half star, five star ability. I don't like his determination, but I needed to sign him because his work rate is good. So his determination will affect his training, but his work rate obviously will show on the pitch, which is good. Good technique as well, good tackling. And he's got decent, I'm not going to say great physicals, but they're decent physicals. But for what I need him to do, he's pretty solid for this level. Couldn't make the grade at Arsenal. Couldn't make the grade at Liverpool. He went to two different clubs that season as well. Um, definitely didn't make the grade at Liverpool. Then went on a free to Millwall. Couldn't make the grade at Millwall. Had a year out. And then is finally back into actual football. So they are the signings. We are way over our wage budget. But you got to do what you got to do. And I'm just going to see. That is our best 11, which is going to start this game. So what I'm also going to do is that, uh, who here, Gale, do we have a defensive mid, defensive mid centre? We do. So he can come off and then 
who do we take off the bench? We take Vaughn off. So we've got all the sevens there. But that is our best team. Which is decent. It is really decent. So we, as you can see, so we, we are going to go with Ravizoli in goal. I have looked to try and get another goalkeeper, but haven't been able to do it. Uh, we'll then go with Anderson on the left. Bradley Green teaming up with Parker in the central defence. And then on the right, we have Weltdale. Our midfield three is going to be Paris, Ferry and Torres. And then our front three are going to be Cox, Walker and Rollinson. I'm just going to do this now. How do you... How do you do this? Because I'm not going to be able to say Rollinson. So... Wait, what's his first name? <laughs> Joel. Okay. So, Joel Rollins. Because otherwise, I'm just I'm just gonna forget to say the sim at the end of it, and it's is just gonna end up becoming Joel Rollins anyway. This is different. This is really different. Three changes from the last match. Oh, that's nice to know. That is nice to know. So let oh wow, okay. So let's get into this game. So pump fists. We've got some nervous players here. They obviously think this is a big game, but when it's not. But let's see what this team can do in their first professional match under me. This is our first competitive game of the season and series, anyway. So, fingers crossed we can start it off with a win and get into it. These are a team that aren't actually, obviously they're in the database, but they're not in the National League. They are the league below. So, let's, let's just hope that we can get a result. So, right now it's all the way over. Now, let's ask if it's going to be a red card already. Goes to his pocket. That's the second yellow, and he's off. Solomon Dello, you have let your side down. You are a defender, and you just gave us more of an advantage half an hour into the game. It's Ferdinand, not to ball up, but Walkdale manages to get it into Ferry, who then gives it. And now Rollins. Rollins takes the shot, but it's saved. It's now going to be Cox full of corner. Whips that in, doesn't come to anything. I want to see how the hell are lining up now. <laughs> All right, so. Are you kidding me? Played yourself, did not pull that up when they've got the ball. How on earth has that just happened? I wasn't even paying attention. Alright, so Ferdinand got the ball here, gives it to, it's an over the top ball, beats the offside trap, well, not, well beats the line and then Casamu gets that into the back of the net. Now let's demand more, because that should not have happened. Sherpa is up. I'm not liking the fact that these guys are still nervous. Not liking that one bit. Alright, let's encourage them again. Let's see what that does. Frustrated by feedback. Does this team have no gap and go? Oh dear, we might be in trouble. So we've also got an injury with Cox as well with a potential foot injury. So we're gonna to have to bring up Weltdale up there, who is even better. So shouldn't really be playing him in the back. So we're gonna to have to change formation a bit. Um so we're gonna bring on Dickinson. We're going to bring Anderson up there. And 
man. Bring on. Nah. That should do something at least. Tactical genius. <laughs> nah, I'm already joking. But oh wow, my voice is gone. Mikhail Parker, though, with good goal from a dead ball. I did say dead balls are good for us at the moment. I might have to add that onto the um, tactic. But we've got to go back. We are drawing right now. I still have one sub left, which I'm just keeping an eye on the health bar, health bars, <laughs> on the fitness hearts. <laughs> oh dear. Probably Chris is in for Rollins, and Rollins is just over the bar. So we're going to have a corner. Walker launches it in, and it doesn't go to anyone, but Rollins is there to pick up the loose ball. Puts it in for Torres, who can't get to it, and Tamplin manages to kick out for a throw in, but nothing else is going to get shown there. Okay, what else can we do? Oh. I think I think we do that we bring on Lua and put him as an attacking forward well, an advance forward on attack and see how that works. So we've got Paris on the ball now, who just gives it straight to Casemiro. But Welps there manages to get it back over the top for Lua. Oh. Feels weird recording this late because I know I can't talk that loud. It is highly annoying. But I need to get this video out edited before I go to bed. So it's uploaded for by the time you're watching this, well, from when the video became live at one o'clock anyway. Oh, gotta love the grind. We should have, they shouldn't have a goal. <laughs> Torres whips it in and Parker trying to get a second goal there. Dickinson now, again, well, oh, can't get there. So it's going to be Miles that regathers it. Does this go to extra time? I've not actually drawn a qualifying round ever before. So I don't know what happens. But I'm not liking the fact that they're on the attack. Yeah, Parker, just knock it out, mate. Knock it out. Does this go to extra time? Dickinson just kicks that forward. Western and extra time. Pump this. Don't let this slip. Okay. So we do have another substitution now, which could come in handy. So, when do I make it? Hmm. So Dickinson just knocks the ball there for Welpdale. He passes it in and Lua can't control the ball. And it's back out again. I think I'm going to make it now. Ah, oh, I can't bring him off. I cannot bring him off. I can't bring Paris off either. Yes, I can. Oh, wait. Yeah. We'll do that. Fingers crossed that works. They are a man down as well. Like, why are we not? All right, let's try and fire them up. They don't like that. Great. Okay, well, I'm literally just going to demand more from you guys and should be winning this game. You really should. They have got 10 men. And you're not able to do anything with it. So Lua now. Put that over the top for Rollins. Please slot that in there. It's a deflection which Miles and gathers. Look at the XG. 
they are not in this game. They are just not in this game. Come on, demand more again. You don't like it, for God's sake. Have I got the world's laziest players? We are in the penalty shootout right now. Okay. Right, I want Torres to go first. Then I want Rollins. Oh, I don't really want Welpdell, but... This is what we're going to do. We are just going to go boom, 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 boom. Oh, Sergio Torres is my assistant manager as well. Hmm. Okay. Let's tell them that they did good, even though they didn't. Well, they did, but the scoreline don't reflect it. Calm them down. There we go. There's one. Penalties in the battle were broken. So, fingers crossed that they're not broken now. <laughs> Come on. <sighs> could have got to that. We could have got to that. Well, dealt the one person who's nervous. Well, Dale can't score penalties, and they put in the exact same place. We're going to lose on penalties in the second qualifying round. Barry misses. Yeah, we've lost. Penalties are still broken on this game. He scores, they win. Oh, actually, he missed. Well, we have to score this one. Torres has to score this. Which he does. Castle, you have to miss, mate. For the series, please miss. Great. Dickinson has to score to keep us in it, and then they've got to miss. Don't like penalties on this game. Dickinson does score, though. Oh, dear. Now to Weston. He missed. Oh, yes. All right, Bradley Green. Come on. Straight down the middle as well. Nice penalty. Very nice penalty. Not that it would have actually gone in in real life, but, you know, <laughs> Ferdinand now on the ball. Slots that in as well. Now Parker. Scores as well. It's now 5-4 on penalties. Cuffle scores as well, even though it went straight through the keeper there. Like you do. Gravata. Missed. Now we've lost on penalties. We've lost on penalties to a team. I'm just going to do what? That was a new screen. They're in the seventh tier. 
and they beat us. <laughs> oh, dear. where does the media think we're going to finish in the league? Come on, where do they think we're going to finish in the league? 14th. Okay. Okay. Anyway, guys, I'm probably going to come back for these two games here. Uh, the FA Trophy second round and the Tonebridge game. I'll come back for those. And if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like. Sorry if this is like a very mellow version of um, what the videos normally are. It is currently half one in the morning recording this just to get this out today for you guys. But please do leave a like, subscribe if you're new, comment down below on any players that might, well, that would fit the wage budget um, that are free transfers or very, very cheap. I'm talking about like, 1,000, maybe even 500 pound, those type of players, um, but if you did enjoy it, again, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I shall see you at 1pm tomorrow for the next episode, peace.